This is a fast repair. I just did it on a chimney cap because they got to put a new roof on. They wanted to fix a chimney first. Real quick video. I'm just going to show you the highlights and how I did it. So the project today is uh, we just got to come up here and patch the top of this chimney up. And the reason is because they're going to put a whole new roof on here. So all we're going to do first is start getting this stuff off because uh, that's the first thing we're going to do. I tried, I tried to uh, put some uh, carpets down, but the wind keeps blowing them off. So I'm going to take this top off of here piece by piece without trying to break anything. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Get it out of here like that. Stuff out of here. And I'm just going to take the first row of brick right off of here, just like that. Because all we're going to do is the cap. Doing a job for someone. Usually can tell you what to do. So we got the top off. We're just going to clean it up a little bit. So then I'm just going to lay them out dry so I know exactly where these bricks go. Because I'm going to be mixing a fast dry and cement. And I'm not going to have time looking for them. I know that. So I'm going to lay it out dry first. All this stuff. Mixed, uh, what you call rapid set in here. It's a real fast drying cement. I'm not going to have time to play with it. So it's going to work fast. This is going to be freezing tonight. I'm going to put it in here like this. I'm going to lay down here. Put this one in. Not too bad. Go this way with it. Sometimes you gotta guess a little bit. This is uh, here in Pennsylvania. They got a usually have an oil burner and they have a wood or coal stove. So they get that in like that. This brick I'm not too worried about. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, the guy here has a, has a wood stove and a coal stove. And he told me that he hates to see his woman get up on a cold, wintry morning and put coal on the fire. So he sleeps with his face towards the wall. Rip the whole chimney down, but uh, it's not what they want. They just want it patched, fixed up. So now, this stuff is drying real quick, so we're going to do a little bit of cheating right there. I'm going to use my finger get that in like that. See how fast that's drying? Pack it in there good. I got this metal piece of iron, it's called a slicker. I'm going to put my cap on. 
I like to wet it up a little first. See on my other videos why? Because it sticks better. That's why. And then I'm using the rapid set. I'm gonna put my uh, my cap on. they call it sometimes. This stuff is getting pretty hard pretty fast. It's only like eight minutes later. The sun's beating on it even though it's a cold day. So we're just gonna get the sponge a little water. Kinda smooth it out. A little water, a little sponge. That cap out just like that. So we got a couple holes in here. I'm gonna shove it in there. Put it in with the slicker. Sometimes I have to do this. Get it in there. Go over all the bad spots here. I don't want to wet it because you know what? It's gonna make a mess. Brush it off a little like that. Now get your sponge. If you think it's dirty, you can just wipe it off with the sponge. Make sure it's real clean though, your sponge. I just want to say something about brick chimneys. Uh, they're, they're actually a dinosaur anymore. Nobody's putting them in because what happens is they're making the furnaces so efficient, especially gas furnaces, that the only thing going up the chimney is moisture. Moisture gets into the chimney, uh, the old flues and the brick, and it busts it apart. Uh, what they're doing anymore is using metals or metal inserts to go downside an old chimney. So if you're getting a new furnace, uh, talk to your plumber and see what's going on as far as chimneys concerned because Chimneys are becoming a dinosaur.